I mentioned in a previous video the hellish and hard deterministic worldview that the ancient Greeks cooked up to explain the universe to them, uh, to themselves. Um, it's interesting because their own philosophy, their own pagan philosophy, eventually um, found a way to come to terms with the determinism or what, or their view of the determina deterministic nature of the universe. Um, and uh, before they could actually do that, they um, started to venerate another goddess, Tyche, and I think I'm mispronouncing that. I think that the ancient Greeks would have pronounced it Tuche or something like that. But uh, she was essentially the goddess of fate. She wasn't one of the fates. She was the goddess of luck, the fortuna to the Romans. Um, and um, she was uh, capricious, uh, and there was no way to escape her. Um, she was uh, the one who basically uh, determined everything. Fate was uh, was going to Tyche was going to get the last say in anything that ever happened to anyone. How do you come to terms with that when you understand that there's still some sort of imperative in us to attempt to be moral? Um, we still have egos. We still have good and bad desires in us. We still have arrogance, cruelty, compassion, and love. Um, determinism can't really overcome these things and it can't really uh, explain how we're supposed to um, manage these things in the real world. So what a lot of the philosophers of the Hellenistic and post-Hellenistic period, i.e. the period after uh, Alexander the Great and uh, coming into the Roman period, um, came up with was the idea that Tyche could not be overcome, but she could be um, she could come to terms with. You could come to terms with Tyche. And, of course, that is uh, the beginnings of moral theory, at least modern moral theory, if you ask me, where Nietzsche's uh, aristocratic ethics start to give way to our modern notions of ethics. And um, what uh, certain people like, I guess, Polybius, um, Socrates, one could even say, uh, dealt with this, um, and a lot of the Stoics dealt with this. They said, Tyche can, can control everything in the phenomenal universe, yes, and you're an idiot if you attempt to uh, alter that. But what Tyche cannot do, and she's not even interested in doing, is... Um, preventing you from reacting in a moral way. Now that's problematic because again, that in, some people think that that involves action, but it doesn't necessarily involve overt action. As I've said in so many other videos, morality is here. Your motives are what make something moral or immoral. Um, and uh, And if you have the right intentions and you believe that what you're doing is the morally right thing to do, in my opinion, that makes it moral. It, but what it also means is it's impossible to judge anyone else's actions as moral or immoral. That doesn't mean that we have to abolish the courts and the police or anything like that. We still have a society that we have to run. We need governments and all this other garbage that comes with living in the phenomenal universe. What I'm talking about is reconciling the imperative in us to be human and to be uh, imperfect and emotional and attempt to be moral with a deterministic universe. In order to do that, you require agency. You require um, this belief that there is such a thing as a desire to be moral. In this case, I'm talking about moral agency. Uh, but again, moral agency is not detectable in anyone else. It's only detectable to ourselves. But again, that's really what, in, at the end of the day, makes something moral. Um, it's not a perfect uh, solution to um, a deterministic universe, but I think that it uh, it is certainly a way of dealing with the fact that um, so much of everything that happens to us and to everything else in the universe is completely out of our control. Nothing can prevent us from being moral. Nothing can prevent us from um, 
being um, a moral agent in as much as we're capable of being so in any given circumstance. That, to me, actually is the answer to determinism. Because we can't banish our desire to be moral through determinism. We can't banish our desire to do anything through determinism. We still have these these desires. I, um, I left off in the previous video. If we do live in a deterministic universe and we are nothing but machines, why do we feel like we're so much more than that? Tyche is the universe. The rest is in here. And she doesn't have sway in here, and she doesn't even want to have sway in here, and she can't have sway in here. It's an interesting thought, I think, and um, it's, uh, it's, it's, I suppose, uh, the ultimate apology for quietism. But determinism and quietism, if you ask me, are perfectly uh, compatible philosophies, uh, as uh, is uh, quietism and free will. The world is the way it is. How we, how we react to it, how we deal with the, the way it is, is up to us. Thank you.